Hello there car apologist, I'm Joe and today we're going to be taking a look at the Banshee and the Banshee Extreme from TF Gear. And first up we have the Banshee Extreme and before I get into all the features and things that it comes with, first impressions. Now I have a saying stuck in my head right now that is drummed into me from one of my brothers in law called buy cheap you buy twice. Now I'll get onto the prices at the end, but that gives you an idea of how much this thing costs. And for the money, it's absolutely exceptional value for money. So really impressive it. I was thinking when I saw the price and that before I got it out, what am I gonna be reviewing here? But genuinely am impressed. Good materials, quick to put up, loads of space. This is the one man, there's a two man version as well. And it's a pram hood, as you can see, all built in together so that when you put it up, the initial shape is what you get. I've owned a pram hood for years or used to, and the peak came separate you always have to put the pole in after it just took up a bit of time this already built in to so put all the poles together torsion bar at the front and you've got a load of protection at the front here now moving on to some of the features and as you can already see it is a pram hood style bivy you've got two main ribs giving the main structure of the bivy and then the third rib is the peak now because this is a full length rib the peak is actually very big so whereas some bivvies have the peak just around the top of the door this covers the whole thing so that gives you a lot of protection from any driving rain but also if you wanted to strip back the door because you can completely open this up and have it like an open day shelter it gives you that extra bit of side protection as well now stability, I was actually really impressed. Considering the two main ribs are what give it all the structure and stability, I was expecting it to be a little bit wobbly, but it, it really isn't the case. You've got one torsion bar here holding the peak forward, which you need, otherwise the peak will flap about. But if you want to buy some torsion bars, you do have to get them separately, but there isn't really any need for them. The only reasons you would want them is one, if you're fishing in really windy conditions, just want an extra bit of stability to tighten it all forward like this and hold it stable. But more importantly, probably the, the main reason you'd want them is if you wanted to zip the front completely open, which is zipping the door up, pulling the sides out, you'd need the torsion bars to hold the bivy forward because once you remove all the front pegs, there's nothing holding it forward. So that's one thing to note. And the material use is 100% waterproof and heavy duty, so it's going to keep protected in all conditions and for a very long time. Now, it's not the thickest of materials, it's not like some of those materials that blocks out loads of sunlight, but because it's not the thickest, it means it's lightweight as well, so it's not really bulky and heavy. Moving on to the front of the bevy, we have two rod restraining straps on the peak, making it a lot easier when getting your rod ready to go back out, especially in windy conditions, it's going to keep your rods in place. Moving on to the door, we have several options and configurations to suit what you're after. To the side we have two mozzie mesh windows that you can fully velcro back and tie back and then the door itself also has a mozzie mesh which you can velcro off and tie up at the top. There's also a clear PVC panel which you can velcro in place so if you want to steer through but keep dry you can put this on as well. The door itself is a one-way zip so it's either down or you can zip it up and tie it up completely so you've got an open door and as I mentioned earlier you can pull back the sides to have it completely open fronted as well. And to improve the airflow even more if you've got the front completely open or you've got all the mozzie mesh panels open there's also a mozzie mesh vent at the back so you're going to keep that airflow going through but also keeping all those insects and mozzies at bay. And the last thing to note is that there's also a fully removable ground sheet which velcros in place so if you want it in there or not it's completely up to you. It doesn't weigh much but it's very quick and easy to put in and out. So that is the Banshee Extreme in a nutshell. And I completely forget the saying I said at the start about buying cheap, you buy twice because this breaks the trend. At $149.99, you get all of this. So entry level or not, it's a great value for money. And there's also a two-man version available for $169.99. To my right is the Banshee, which is basically the little brother of Banshee Extreme. It covers all the important aspects that you need from a bevy, just a few less features than what you get on the Banshee Extreme. So the most obvious of which is it's ever so slightly smaller in size, but that's mainly due to the fact it doesn't have a peak. So it's just the two poles on this one, still just as rigid. You can also get the additional storm poles if you need for the same reasons, giving it a bit of extra stability. And you also haven't got the side panels that you get on the Banshee Extreme. So you've got the main door, which once again, zips all the way up. You can clip it up like I have at the moment. You've got the mozzie mesh if you Velcro back the window, and you've also got a PVC cover to put in there as well. Round at the back, we once again see the rear mozzie mesh vents. You've got a lot of through airflow, and the front sides do whip back as well. So if you want to have that as a fully open fronted shelter, you can do, but like I said with the Banshee Extreme, you will need the torsion bars to give it that rigidity and keep it from falling backwards. Space-wise, lots of room in there. Yeah, I'm just over six foot and as you can see this is coming up to about here on me so I'd say in there you've got almost up to five foot of headroom so plenty of room for you to sit up right in there good visibility out the front 
And just like with the Banshee Extreme as well, you've also got a fully removable ground sheet. So you can velcro that in place like I have at the moment or take it out and not take it with you. It's, it's not very heavy, so it's easy to keep in your bag and makes it nice and lightweight, which is what the whole package generally is. It's a small overnight shelter, keeps you protected, doesn't weigh a lot and easy to put up and take down. On the front bar, we have a rod restraining strap either side, just like we get on the peak of the Banshee Extreme. And the material is exactly the same. So hard wearing, 100% waterproof, and all of the seams, just like on the Banshee Extreme, are taped. So there's no point where it's gonna leak. So with all the physical aspects of this, making it the little brother of the Extreme, you'd expect the price to reflect the same thing. And it does. At 99.99 for one man, you're getting all of this bivvy for under 100 quid. And I'm struggling to think of other bivvies on the market that offers this much for that price point. And for some extra space with the two-man, it still comes in at 129.99. So there you go, a look at the Banshee and Banshee Extreme from TF Gear. So if you're looking for a new bivvy, whether it's entry level or you're looking for something that does everything you need a bivvy to but won't break the bank, then look no further. Very impressed for what you get for the money. Less than 100 quid for the basic Banshee or 149.99 for the Banshee Extreme. Don't think you can play at those prices. So for more information, please visit the TF Gear website. Cheers for watching and I'll see you again soon.